So doing a first impressions video on this Heart of the Hide here. Um, it's like I just have to do a first impressions video because my initial impressions I just just touched this glove like 10 minutes ago and it's amazing. This leather feels so good. I've never been a fan of Heart of the Hides. Never. But um, it just feels so good. It's got the really comfortable deer tan cowhide. It's got almost like a like a dry lex in the wrist, which is different. Um, it's really nice. It's got a nice like a like a nice finger pad there, like almost like a gel pad, like a pro preferred. It's really really lightweight. That's a first impression of it. Um, I love the colorway. See the like the dark brown cherry reddish. I don't know what they'd be called, like a dark brownish cherry cherry brown lacing. <clears throat> and again, I don't know the exact color of this. It's like a it's like a orange tan from Rawlings. Um, the red, uh, right there. It's got the rolled welting here on the fingers. It's just a good looking glove. Has a good form to it. There's a model number for you, eleven three quarter inch. Um, about the size, the impressions of it, it plays, I think it feels more like 11 and a half, um, but it's really good, I really like it. Feels like I could play with this glove at third base, shortstop, and second, and have no problem. Pro grade right there, 200 pattern, whatever that is, I have no idea, honestly. It just, it's a really good looking glove, really comfortable if you go two in the pinky. Still has a lot of breaking in to do. <clears throat> We go traditional, comfortable, still has a lot of breaking in to do. Um, it's got a pretty pretty deep pocket, I can tell, developing, which is it's good for third base, um, but shortstop and second you might want more shallow. Um, but either way, it's really nice. Um, it's got a good amount of padding, the initial, um, like the pinky and the thumb are really good. They're not too thick, like some pro preferreds come, but they're definitely not too thin, like some part of the hides come. Um, they're, it's really, it's just a really well-built glove. Um, the stitching is all in place, looking really perfect, honestly, except for that one that's popped right there. But that's just from use. <clears throat> the patch looks good. Everything looks good. The lining looks really good. No, no, like wrinkles standing out. The, just the craftsmanship of this glove is actually really, really good for a two hundred and fifty-nine dollar glove. Obviously, it's a lot of money, but like. Usually you find the really best the, the best craftsmanship on like a pro preferred A2K, but I do really like this glove. It's it's just so light, like you just throw it around really easy. It's a really nice looking glove. It's got the I web or H web, whatever you want to call it. Single X's there. Um, the lacing is Tanner's lace, obviously in a Rawlings, so it's going to be like the best of the best. You don't have to worry about it breaking right away. But uh, yeah, it's a really really nice glove. Um, what do you guys think of this glove? Let me know. I think it's really sweet. I think it's a lot better than the... Or not a lot better, but it's a lot uh, better looking, is what I mean, than the A2K I just got. But I think the A2K is obviously a little bit higher quality. But um, that's, good. that's a given. It's an A2K. And an original A2K at that, like from the earlier years. But yeah, it's a really comfortable glove, really light, really thin palm, so I'm guessing you can feel the ball pretty well. But it doesn't feel like it's like paper thin either, so like a DP-15 where those sting. But yeah, so that's just my first initial first impressions of this Rawlings Heart of the Hide, guys. Once it gets some use, um, I'll get a review out on it for you guys. And some usage, like playing catch videos with it, taking grounders. Same with my A2K if it's not gone, because um, I do plan on just flipping that one and keep keep flipping. Um, yeah, I don't know. Super nice glove, super smooth, buttery leather. Really tightly, gr tightly grained leather, which is really nice. Some Heart of the Hides, you can tend to feel a little bit more like cheap, um, but this one feels very high quality and very good. So like, comment, subscribe, guys. Stay tuned for more unboxings, first impressions, reviews, gameplay from this coming summer. Hope they don't break my leg again and ruin that. I plan on not doing that again. So yeah, catch you guys in the next video.